big good evening and welcome to Scott Valley Hairdressing. This is where it's all sort of happening here tonight. Yes, folks, we said we we're going to be on tonight at 7.45. As you can see, I'm moving quite well tonight. Uh, it is, what time is it? 20 past 8 and we're still here live tonight. So, big good evening to Ben tonight and Sarah Scott. As you can see, Sarah moving quite well tonight. To look and see you on Saturday. So, I'm sure my physiotherapist will do a great job as always. Big good evening to everybody tonight that's around the world, especially over in uh, Australia. All of the Muck um, family, especially Clive, Mark, Bruce Davis. Uh, and everybody else that's connected to Muck out there. Uh, also, everybody in the UK in the Muck division, uh, especially VA, and I'll be watching tonight, the lovely Justina. Also, a big good evening to Big Mate, Lynn Marie Atkinson, and of course, Grace, not forgetting, of course, Cara. Is that right, Cara? Yeah, of course it's Cara, yeah, that's right, because I get confused with Cara Cara. Anybody tonight who's watching that is hairdresser or non hairdresser, also a big good evening and welcome tonight, all of the Saxon family. Big good evening because I know you like to watch. Miss Marple and Lynn Hobbs, I know you will be also live watching tonight. So, what's this all about? Everyone's very special. We originally devised this and sorted it as a learning CD, DVD presentation for hairdressers or non hairdressers how to learn how it works and how it all comes together. So you'll be learning tonight body positioning, how the hair starts from the beginning to the end. You'll also see on the photos how we start at the very beginning because we'll be doing a before and after. So that's the first for tonight. Model number 39 tonight, we said we're originally going to do three but we're nearly up to 40 so amazing when you think in the period of time of over a year it's great to be able to do this and stream it live to the world. Thank you to all our international friends as well as national friends that around the, the, um, the country that are also with us watching this and making it what it is. Put your messages on tonight, I'll try and get through to you as best I can but anyway in the meantime let's go over and meet model number 39. So always like I say a great privilege to be able to introduce somebody that's different, somebody that I've never cut before. It gives me great pleasure tonight to introduce very beautiful Clay Woodward. Woo! You're on. Hi. Say good evening, say good evening, don't be scared. Say hello to Ryan because he'll be looking. Hello. Say hello to him more. <laughs> Just say hello to him more, Clay. That's it. She's shy. Okay. <laughs> I'm shy too, but it's a good job that I can do this because I am extremely shy. Those of you that really know me well, I am really shy. Josh Brown, if you're on tonight, I know you love all that. So, we're going to be working with Chloe tonight. We'll be showcasing how it works and also working with Muck Products because, of course, our exclusive sponsors this evening. We'll be showcasing, thank you, how the Muck Products work in harmony with the cuts. So, the beautiful thing is about it again is how they work in harmony, we can get the looks and how we can finish the look. We started to play this hair this evening with repair shampoo and conditioner. When you see the photos, I'm sure you'll see a big difference from how we start at the beginning of the journey to how we end. We're gonna be working through a wardrobe tonight of using Fat Muck Brow Mousse, which will be a cutting lotion. We'll then be going on to volumizing spray, and then we'll be concluding with either an argan oil or the 20 in one miracle treatment lotion, which is what I'm aiming to use. But you'll see tonight a complete finish when we finish at the end. We'll also be bringing in tonight, in tonight's star package, we'll be using the Muck Wide Plate Style Stick, including the Ionic Red Light Infrared styling piece that's within the middle there that basically takes away the negative ions and makes them positive. So that'd be quite nice. So basically any hair that's fly away, they control it and give it a real smooth effect or smart. So the idea is we're going to work with that tonight. So let's talk about how we're going to be working with Chloe's hair this evening. We're going to start first of all with taking off about an inch off the bottom. Half an inch to, to an inch, not too much. I'm going to really be aiming for about half an inch tonight. That's how we measure an inch. Generally, anybody that generally looks at measuring, I'll go for half an inch here and we're going to be going for a rounded effect in the back. We'll then be looking through the front, taking again a tiny amount off here, off the corner, which we'll probably use a razor or a pair of scissors. We'll see when we get to it to finish it off. Then we're working on the layer, which is very important. We'll be using a travelling guide layer that will be moving. So we're going to the corner of the chair, back to the corner of the chair. Oh, it's great to be able to move good again. You can actually move properly. I've got that battery control thing on the Sarah game, so it's great to be able to move. Then we'll be going through from 45 to 90 degree layer through to the top, using then as we'll go through the bones of the skull in a minute to control the layers, which will then give us a softer look at the front and a softer look at the back. So we'll be able to then flip the hair out. Chloe will be able to wear it smooth or smart. Um, and also curly as well and tie back. So basically, four looks into one, which is good value when you think of 
hair of today, what people like with long hair, most people say don't take too much off, but again I'm very excited about working with dark hair. This is what I'll be working with tonight and the bones of the school, the highway, will be the recession, the parietal ridge which segregates the top part of the hair to the bottom part, we'll then be working with the apex, upper occipital bone, the protruding bone in the back, occipital bone, lower occipital bone which will be our starting point tonight, the bone behind the ear which is the mastoid process and we'll also be working with the nape tonight. Also be good evening while well, I think about it to Dan Metcalf, good to see you all the way from Braintree when you came for a haircut the other day, two hours on the road and comes for a haircut, great to see you if you're there tonight. Sam if you're on watching, also Nick McCaffrey, wherever you are in the world, I hope you're okay bro, and of course Sharon, because of course, let's not forget, I was your friend first before Nick, so I hope you're okay also. So let's bring in our first, I told you I was going to be a bit off. <laughs> Our first product tonight, what we're using in our stall wardrobe, which is Fat Muck Blowout Moose. As Nick McCaffrey knows, it's a golf ball size. And of course, Dan Metcalf. It's always, I always think theatre is really important in hairdressing. You can put your hands together and place it on. It's easy to use with a comb, because again, if you let this disperse into a glass, it turns into conditioner. So we're starting the process before we even start as we're going through and obviously what that will do now is work the canvas which is Chloe's hair and we're able to then start the process of conditioning the hair as we're working it will take quite a lot of uh, conditioner sometimes let alone the product so you just have to make sure you've got even distribution the nice thing about using a comb is it is even distribution a guest that came to the salon the other day said to me should I be applying my hair with a comb the answer to the question is Yes, because you will not get product wastage and you'll get even distribution of product. So it's always good to be able to get tips and advice from the hairdressers because while well, we like to think we know what it's all about, you can always you can always keep learning as I'm not afraid to keep learning now. Right, so we're gonna start with the first part. We'll be going now apex to mastoid process. The nice thing about the products is it allows you to keep the sections clean and it also allows you to see the natural full in the hair while you're cutting. Well done, Smoth, you know where I'm going next. That's impressive, that is, I am really impressed. So we'll just segregate that, come around to the next side. So it should bring it around just a little bit more. That's it. And you can just see the lines I'm drawing it. Again, the hard way the hair is so important because that's what decides on where we're going with the haircut next. You see I use my thumb a lot to measure where I'm going to with the comb as I'm combing it down. How you doing down there? A bit quiet. Right. You're, right, okay. You're not shy are you? I'm shy. I'm yeah. scared. Is on anybody? Come on. Yeah, Sharon. Sharon Caffrey. Sharon. Sharon Coleman. Nice to see you, Sharon. Hope you're okay. Sharon Coleman, Sharon McCaffrey, hope you're okay. Great to see you. I hope you're really well. Hope Nick's are right as well. Okay, keep everything out of the way. Anybody else? Lynn Marie Atkinson. Nice to see you on there. Big mate. Cara. And Grace, of course, not forgetting Grace. Make sure you're careful when you position yourself for that camera. She's over here. How is she? Chris Allen. Chris Allen, great to see you. Hope you're okay tonight. Hope you're keeping well. Good to see you on there. Just call them out some more. It's great. Oh. Okay, so keep everything nice and clean and tidy. What we'll do now is you'll see how I section this down slightly at an angle. The idea is that when we do the one length, you'll be cutting it slightly at an angle as you cut it and then it will then turn into a straight line. If you cut it in a straight line, it blow dries up and it goes a bit convex. So the idea is that you, uh, concave, sorry. So the idea is you have to have a convex shape and that's how I do it with that line. So that tells me how to do it. Okay, let's get a nice pair of scissors. As if by magic, thank you very much. Very kind. So sitting down at the right angle is what it's all about. Segregating into three pieces. Like I did Lindsay the other day, I've set quite a load more off. So, using the wider part, so the thinner part of the comb, keeping it tight, you'll get legs crossed very good. You remember that from college. Okay, keeping it all nice and clean, and then going in and doing the cut. 
and then this part now because we're going slightly at an angle we're coming into it slightly at an angle to give us that slightly rounded area because again what we're going to do this obviously as we said was to round it up I'm just thinking you like it rounded don't you so there we go just a slight change of plan folks don't worry we're going up at an angle because I just remembered in the consultation I'm so used to doing slightly bevel so we're actually going this way up now don't worry it's fine it's a good job I remember what the consultation was so just slightly round it up now it's slightly going up there okay next part you're probably thinking what's he doing now he said he was going to do that well that's the beautiful thing about hairdressing you can actually change things if you need to as long as you remember what you're doing and why okay so there we go next section we're coming from the occipital vein okay I'll just slightly above it keep your clips in there legs going upwards always it's a bit more easier to grip the hair so yeah the consultation we originally said we were going to go slightly rounded in the bottom so at least you know now how to do the perfect line if you wanted to sit perfect but in terms of a rounded edge keep the sections as they are and then really it's just a question of starting from the middle part keeping it squared as we're going to do now keep the tension on zero elevation round that in and then literally moving round with the chair putting the comb in slightly at an angle so if you do it in three parts you can then decide where you're going with it next and you can get that angle to bend it up slightly that works really really well that does okay so just come through this part now and again just by moving your body position it makes it easy to be able to get the shape in nicely okay come on you're there you're there you with me good who else is on some off anybody else Nikki Gower, good to see you with us tonight, one of our previous models. Okay, Nikki, great to see you. Have a look at the writing, what I've written tonight, and I'm sure you'll see who my special guest is down here with me tonight. <coughs> Can't mention any names. Paul King. Paul King! Woo! All the way from Essex, have you okay, King? I'm guessing you're in your bar tonight. Have you okay in the family? Paul Lucky Hunt. Paul Lucky Hunt. Great to see you with us tonight, Paul. Hope you're okay. Looking forward to seeing you on the third. Take it steady, take it steady. Nice and slow, nice and slow. <laughs> That's what he said when I was staying in a hotel on a stag recently. That's what I heard. It was quite funny. Good to see you, Paul, with tonight. Hope you're okay. So, again, just take the middle section down. This is where you'll be sitting in a few weeks, Paul, when you have your hair cut. So again, the beautiful thing about the versatility of this is you can actually use the comb to move to whatever position you want to. So i.e. I can bend it up or down. Most people tend to use the fingers, which is fine, but it bevels it up or down, which makes it flick. With a comb, it's more solid. So if you've never used a comb before, use one, try it. As long as it's clean when you're cutting, because it's got to be clean, which then produces a smoother finish, which is really important. Okay. Now I'm going to go through the sides. Right, at this point, we'll be looking for going from the apex crossing over the parietal ridge to the recession. So it's going to give us a nice turn. Just there, so this just divides everything again. Keep the sections nice and clean, which again is really important. Clean sections, clean air cut. We're bringing this all back, so we're going to go back into the same position where I was a minute ago. Yeah, that's looks really good, I'd say. <laughs> Good cut here. Thanks. You're too kind. Thanks, my friend. Right, so now you can see the cleanliness of that. Bring it around to stage left, that's it, perfect. Brilliant. Right, so now just move around slightly. Remember, we're going slightly up, so we're beveling up. We'll just come through now and just keep the sections clean going up. Has Nick McCaffrey come on yet and said where he is tonight? It's probably in Oslo. Tracy Barnes. Tracy Barnes, great to see you tonight. I'll be okay, Tracy. I hope Mark's okay also. I hope you had a nice birthday. Great to see you. Woo! Has Charlie Brooks made an appearance yet? I did say good evening to all the Saxon family tonight. Okay, that's the first piece. We'll go down now with the next part. See, I'm keeping all the sections really clean as we're doing this. So again, if you've got a wonky line, you get a wonky haircut, so the discipline is from the start, even sitting, looking at your hand positioning, making sure that everything's right, your back positioning, 
most importantly, your back position. After I've just been through with my back, it's important to make sure it's position. I've got a smile, I've got a smile like a clover. It's good. Is he? He's in the UK. Excellent. Nice to see you with us, Nick, tonight. Good to see you in the UK. You won't be wolf, wolf gang again, bless you. So you got a nice little bend there on that side. Now we're going to come back around to this side, replicate what we've just done. Just keep everything clean. Yeah, Nick, I enjoyed your video. It was really good in the hotel. Excellent. I was just trying to figure out, <laughs> trying to figure out uh, the hair dryer. I think maybe if you put the plug down on the wall. It was quite funny, I did like it. Thank you for the uh, message, it was very good. As always, highly entertaining. Okay, so we're now just replicate the top again coming through from the apex to the recession. You'll be saying it when you sleep tonight. <laughs> Either that or you'll be saying it when you do it next time. Seriously. It's quite infectious when you do it. Okay, so. Again, now just keeping the sections really clean, tidy, just to take the dead ends off. When you see how I do this, you'll be, well, yeah, you'll be able to see it. <laughs> That's the, you just see how I keep everything nice and clean and tidy. Everything just pulls back to the back of the chair. There's the roundness just slightly. We're only putting in a subtle amount to begin with. You can revisit it again later when it's dry. You'll see all these on the photos later, you'll see all the sectioning. Um, how it's all finished off with the hair when I do the photos of Chloe tonight. But again, when you're watching it live, it's quite interesting because you everybody thinks that every job's easy, which it is to a certain degree, to a professional if they do it all the time. But uh, as with anything, practice makes perfect. So the point being, if you've never cut with a comb, have a go with it. So it is, it's a great way of doing it. So you can now see we've got a perfect little roundness going in the back there, which is nice. Again, a first for this series to be able to show this, which is nice. Anything that doesn't look pleasing to the eye, you just literally just make sure that all just sits nice. Again, really fussy about putting a straight line in, you know, making sure it all looks really straight and aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Okay, on to the side. Move around this one. It's good. Right, so I'm just going to go around and take the section again from the apex to the mastoid process. So that's apex, mastoid. Chris Jordan, Rob Smith. Chris Jordan. Woo! I know Rob, you love it. Hope you're okay, Chris and Rob, tonight. Great to see you with us. You're okay. We're back down Saxon again soon, I think. I'm getting a lot better now, so it be nice to get back into it. To organise a night out again soon. Hope the dogs are alright. I'm sure the dogs are keeping you both highly entertained. Right, so we've already done the roundness in the back, so we're now going to join up the sides to what we've got to the back here. So we're we'll using safety razor. Do this in either two or three sections with zero elevation. I'm scared. That's all right. <laughs> So when I say zero elevation, we're going zero in. All right, so we've got a previous line, we're just gonna to go to that. So again, just stroking it down. Now as you're stroking it down, you're pulling the fingers out as you're doing it, which basically then maintains the length. Just bring around this way, I'll say. This moth can get the angle then, I'll say. Should really be able to see that now. That's it. Again, filming in HD, it's quite cool as you get a really good chance to sort of see everything. Okay, so you can see zero elevation. I'm just really just pulling that forward and that just really just gives us that nice little C-shaped curvature. Again, C-shape's really important because I just think it's such a beautiful shape to sort of produce. Some people go in at more of a steeper angle, but I just always think C-shape's perfect. This is just blending the two together now, the side to the back. So that now has given us the first piece, which you can just see through there. Gives us a nice little angle. Okay, come back around this side, that's it, nice. As if by magic, we're all on the second <laughs> side. <laughs> lift your head up, that's it. So I'm gonna come in and do this. So again, zero elevation. Just get the angle right. Looking for a clue on the other side. There's the clue. Just go there, you can either chip it out or 
smooth it out as you do it, you can glide it on, which again gives it a bit more of a smoother finish. So just, let's just glide it through. You shouldn't really be feeling that, it should just be gliding through nicely. Does it pull? Yeah. Excellent. It's a combination of wet hair and a sharp blade that <laughs> makes a massive difference. And again, you can sort of again see that C-shaped curvature coming through. Just got that little join in the back. So there's a lot of disconnection when you do this. So again, we want to try and connect it to what we're doing, because then it will help the roundness on the finish. Okay, so we've now got the finish just there. Randomly to check it off, you just literally pull the front part, you then pull the middle part, and then you pull then the bottom part just to make sure it's level. Okay, so we're now going to go through. All of a sudden, uh, there we go. I'm going to go through to the back part now, so again we're going to go back and somebody out there pipping the horn if you want the big mate. So let's just, <laughs> let's go through, <laughs> let's go through the back again now, so we're just going to go through here. Again we're cutting real time tonight, so this um, obviously is what we speeded up this evening. We'll bring in our second product that we're going to use now into our wardrobe this evening. We'll bring in the Fat Muck Volumising Spray. This contains panthenol, which will put in a little bit more plumpness into the hair. And when I come to blow dry, it just fattens it up a bit and gives it a really nice bit of body to finish. Again, when you spray this, it's quite interesting because it actually produces bubbles into the hair. I don't know if you can see that just through the video, it just puts like bubbles in the hair. It's just it's really quite cool. It's almost like squirting fair liquid. It's great, it really is. Okay, so Michelle Stanton is it? Is that Michelle Stanton? Michelle Stanton nice to see you with us tonight. Hope you're okay. Thanks, Moth. Have to call you that because nobody will know you are, it's cool. <laughs> okay, so starting again now from the occipital bone. Everything needs to be just gripped out of the way. Now we're keeping everything quite regimented on this layer because purely we don't want to sort of make it look as if there's too many layers in it. So the idea is we just keep everything quite simple to follow tonight, but the result will be quite nice and different, which you'll see glasses on. Just get on there, you're getting ready to tell me somebody's on there. Lynn said she needs the fluffy stuff. Lynn needs the fluffy stuff. Is that Lynn Marie Atkinson? Yes. Which one's the fluffy stuff? That one. That's fine, no problem. Do you want some tonight? <laughs> you go home. Right, this is the length just here. That's the weight I'm taking out, just a tiny amount of weight. If you go any shorter on the bottom, then you'll find that basically the hair will start to go shorter in the length. We're only cutting to the second knuckle or the PIP. Bruce Davis. Bruce Davis. Respect Bruce Davis. Really nice to see you. Obviously you can see we're on it tonight. Looking forward very much to meeting you in October. I cannot wait. It'll be a real pleasure and an honour. Hope you're okay and everybody else in, in uh, Australia this evening. Great to see you with us. Or this morning. Because of course we're in this evening so you must be in the morning. Great to see you Bruce. It's just again now just keeping everything. You can see that's the length and that is the weight we're taking out to the second knuckle discipline as we come through. And again, we're looking for no drag as we're doing this because we've got to make sure there is no drag. That's the drag, we'll keep it to the height of the head. Right, so now I'm just going to go through to this side, so I'm just going to move around for you. Josh Brown said, so Where's the noise? Josh, oh, the noise, there you go then. <gasps> There's a the noise for you. <laughs> okay, or is it there? Woo! There you go. Just for you tonight. He loves it. Quite funny, we walked past the salon door the other day and we both did it exactly the same time. It's brilliant. Again, just keeping that length preserved as we're coming through. You see, we're moving round to the corner of the chair or to the mastoid process. And then just to check to make sure everything's level, lift it up, elevate it, and then just make sure the edges are nice and clean. Because it's very much a visual look, so you just have to really sort of lift everything up underneath, just make sure it's all clean, and then we're there. Okay, that's the design line in. This is really just slowly working up the head now on this graduation, so we can skip straight up now with condensed cutting and go straight up to the apex, which is the bone through the top just here. So now I'm just going to replicate what we've just done. 
again the products make it so much easier because it makes the hair just sort of place in position so much more easier. Whereas for Octo will be great only in Coventry, not in Australia. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Correct, <laughs> <Crap>, Bruce. <laughs> I look forward to it. Hopefully next time I meet you afterwards it'll be in Australia. I'm hoping I'll get a chance to come out there and see you. It should be great. At least it'll be warmer when you come over here. Okay, you can see now just following the line through. Again, it's a travelling guide, so we're now at 7 o'clock. So we're moving round the head. So again, the beautiful thing about the travelling guide is it creates a bit more shape into the corner of the hair. If you pull everything back, it creates a heavier shape on the corners of the haircut. I always think that if you move it round, you get a little bit more shape. It just sits so much better. Wait till you see this on the video. It'll be quite interesting for you. Oh well. That's what it's all about. It's all interesting. The important thing is just keeping the sections clean as you're doing it. So generally when one of my friends at this point now will come on and he'll say everything's smooth. Because it's got to be smooth when you're cutting. It's got to be perfect. Right, so now it should produce an invisible layer. Which is slowly going up there and it will bend, bevel the hair round which will give it a really strong texture but coming up here now is those layers very very subtle. Okay, let's go around to the side. Nice camera. Sharon Coleman. Sharon Coleman, hello. Good to see you with us. Hope you're okay. I'm guessing that uh, Charlie's with you tonight as well. Hello Charlie, if you're there. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still working. It's not pre-recording. Hope you're all okay. Okay, so again moving round now to five o'clock. Just keeping everything nice and clean and again just making sure that everything's at the height of the head. I wonder if your mum's watching. Who we're looking out for? What's your mum's name? <laughs> Did you catch that? No. <laughs> I'm scared. No, she probably won't be watching. She might, she might watch the pre-recording later. Yeah. Just the mobility man will be watching. So. That's it. See if there's a moonlight on. That's it. Okay, so you can now see we're coming round to the corner of the chair. Again, really important to think about the discipline of where you're standing, how it's moving. If I was pulling it all back, I'd be standing here. We are actually physically moving round now to about four o'clock. So again, that just keeps everything. It actually makes the hair look thick, I believe it or not. When you've got finer hair to work with, it's just a great way to make hair look a lot thicker. So it, it's got a lot of purpose, this has, this technique. Um, again, I always think of it as when a, a guest comes to you, they are individual. So you have to always think of what techniques you can use to turn out an individual haircut. If you're giving somebody the same haircut as somebody else that's that's had a haircut, it's not really individual, so it's really important to put this on. And so I'm moving for you. So now we're going to take every section coming towards the front in this back section now. So we'll take every section and literally then just pull it back into the corner. So we're coming back into the mass door process. So literally just to make sure we've taken the corner off because again we don't want to keep that corner on of disconnection. So I tend, a lot of people tend to keep this on, there's not that much coming off now. So I should imagine there won't hardly be anything on here. But again, coming to the point of the mastoid process or the corner of the chair, that's where the discipline is on this. When you watch this you'll be thinking to yourself, this is really quite different. That's the idea. It just blends everything through nicely. So I'm now satisfied that that's all blended on that layer. Now we'll put that around again. Karen Booth. Karen Booth, the first ever model. Hello, sweet Tom. Hope you okay. Ian Booth is, uh, well, Ian's good as well, I should say. Ian Harrison, that's how to think of what a surname is. It's brilliant. This time of the night, you forget names. The name has been changed to protect the innocent. Hope you okay, Karen. Jane Garner. Good to see you with us tonight. Hope you're okay. It's always good when you see these people appear. It's nice, some different names tonight as well, it's good. Okay, so again, coming into the mastoid process, which is behind the ear, corner of the chair, 
just to take the edge off, keeping everything nice and clean. You can see it's very physical working as a hairdresser. A lot of people don't believe that. It's only literally when you sort of watch these videos back, you realise just how physical it is. Clean sections. Okay, so we've now got the levelness of both sides. We're now going to go back into the top layer. So we've theoretically done the first half, so we're now going to move up to the top. So I should imagine before we hit blow dry, it'll be probably about another seven minutes. Then we'll go into the blow dry. Then we'll bring out the muck style stick to do some straightening. Then we'll do some personalisation. And then we're about there, and then everybody can go to bed. As for watching, well, the EastEnders is finished now, I should imagine. Right, so let's just move you around this way. That's it. So we're going to work from the apex to the occipital bone. Now the important part about this is making sure that the arm is in the right position because the arm is the key part. As you go up and down with the arm, that's the key, key part of this. So now I'm going to go up in the air. That's the part we cut earlier. This is the weight on the top that we're going to and that's the weight in the middle which we need to take away. The important part is you don't make any drag on it. It goes literally as high as where we're cutting to. Then we're going round in like a pivoting section of a cake. Lifting it up, not pulling it into the middle or anything. The arm's going straight up, we're not cutting it like this. So it's saggy, it's got to be really, really taut on the tension. And again, just moving around again now. It's facing towards the guest in the mirror, you can see how much has got to come off and what's got dead ends on it immediately. You can see that as I just place my new line in, it really just cleans it all off. Okay, we're going to your side now. The purpose of the film. So again, we're coming back around the other way. <laughs> again, the arms pushing up as we're doing this, which again is really important because the arm is the key part in this. If it's, let's say your arms like sagging a bit, it will pull down and it will make the side look longer. So when people say one side of the haircut looks longer than the other, that's generally why because you've not sort of pushed your posture up high. So it's important. Is Kate Howard coming tonight? No, mm, yeah. I'm sure she'll come on soon. Okay, so that's the back section now. We're now going to move into the top. So we're going to subdivide this with the parietal ridge. So above the parietal ridge will be a square layer. Below the parietal ridge will be a rounded layer, which will give us this shape. You better do this yourself, you will see. The amount of times you've heard this. It's all good. What should we call it? The Smoth School of Cutting. Yeah. It's different, isn't it? I mean, the one that is killing herself now. They're selling on a bit. Use it. <laughs> What's Smoth? <laughs> that's right. Okay, below the parietal ridge now, that's the length that we're keeping. This is the length we pre cut. We're now just taking it off to the second knuckle. Second knuckle is a real discipline on this. I always try to put the parietal ridge in as well because I think it's important, especially when I'm showing it like this. You can see all the dead ends as I'm taking it up, and then literally you just got to think about your arm position as you're doing it. So it's really, really important. Okay, it's better to take little sections because then it keeps everything nice and clean, which is what you're after. And again, it's just a discipline. If you don't discipline yourself with it, you'll lose where you're at and that's really what you don't want to do, so again, you just keep it all nice and tight as you're going through with tension, because again, I always think tension is a really important part in this. Okay, so there's your first part on your first side now, and we'll just go through again to check off, so where we were previously on the apex to master a process, subdivided the parietal ridge, and then literally squared up, everything all square, just make sure it's level, everything below the parietal ridge, then let you come out as a rounded layer, because of course that's how we cut it earlier, just to check it off, and that's it. That's now subdividing and checked. We're now just going to the back corner, make sure that that part is rounded out as well, because that's the only part we've cut. That's called quadrants, so basically I'll go on the top with a cross, put the cross on the head, you've got four quarters, so I look at a quarter is called a quadrant. Something different for you. Okay. Let's go from the back this time now. So I'm going to repeat the process on the top now, then we're about ready to start blow drying. Okay. Chloe's 
probably a smart thing to know. I'll just sing a little small. I'm scared. <laughs> That's what I should say. <laughs> That's it. When you're too old like me, you just don't get scared. <laughs> it just it becomes a pleasure and relaxation. I always think cutting hair is like dancing. It's choreographed, artistic, and extremely a real pleasure to do. Should be on coffee duty tomorrow. Is she? Call me after this. <laughs> What's on coffee duty? Does that mean you go around and uh, just make everybody coffee and show off your hair? I'm not making anybody any coffee, that's not nice, is it? It's good to have made you a drink, Kelly. Hard work. So again, you can see I'm just turning out slowly. You've got to think about the length on this. I think you'll be on coffee duty until I've got a text and I'll have to say that. Okay, so everything's squared up. Now the prior to set. There's your length, there's your length, there's your weight. That goes uh, coming through to the top, squared up. If there's anything, any tiny piece, I'll take that time as well. Okay, so now again, just making sure that everything's level. So we'll go back down from the apex to the masterwork process. Subdivide, I told you it's going to be technical tonight. <laughs> Never been this technical for you before. <laughs> I am proper technical with this. Okay, so everything above the prior to ridge squared up, making sure it's level. Everything below the prior to ridge, making sure everything's rounded. Now back into the other quadrant, which is the final corner. Again, rather than just guessing where it is, we just literally go to the back of the heel, which is the final piece. It. Big mates on it, that's good. It's like Smoth. Smoth, that's right, yeah. That's the one. So, <laughs> that lens killing himself. I laughed on. Last piece, this is it. So, we now just go for the rounded layer as we're doing this. So you just see, make sure it's level. And that now concludes the final part of the wet relationship with the haircut before we do the blow dry. So now we'll do is just randomly pick some pieces out. You just literally just make sure that's level. I'm guessing Grace is set up with the camera. What's that? There you go. Very good. You're a good camera. Amazing. Guest artist. Thank you. Right, so we've now got the cut. As you can see. How are you feeling? Got a small one, got a small one, it's good. Right, so rather than using the argan oil, our next product we're going to use tonight is the Head Muck 20 in 1 Miracle Treatment, which basically will have 20 different uses. It could have thickening up, it could have smoothing, smothing, it can do all sorts. That's just a, a slight variety of it. So, quite a nice, easy product to use. Very, very versatile. So, enough to cover both hands and then literally just smooth it into the hair making sure there's even distribution all over. This will give it a nice shine as well. Again, it is feeding the hair. It's like a conditioner, so it's, you know, the amount of conditioner we're putting into this tonight. It should be absolutely brilliant to see the blow dry and the finish. So again, the hand is one of the world's best rakes that was ever made. Just make sure everything's all evenly distributed. I tend to just pick it up, make sure it's all on there. Just with those squirts in the hands, it's quite nice because it's now distributed into the hair. So what we'll do now is, oh, <laughs> what we'll do now is we'll do the blow dry, then we'll come into it again with the muck style stick wide plate. So stay with us. It might get loud, but I'll try and talk over it. If you're having a cup of tea, now's a chance to have a little comfort break with a cup of tea. We'll just do a quick blow dry rather than going and breaking off. We'll go all the way through. We'll be back soon. Okay, so, first of all, it's get the moisture out of the hair. And then they're off. So, everything in a downward motion. What you're trying to do is catch the airflow as it's coming to the, the hand. You're almost like bagging it with your fingers as you're going in. This is one of the old techniques, but it works really well. What it does is it makes all the cuticles go nice and smooth. Then produce a really smooth look. 
So the idea now is you'll see the colour will change and it will start to show itself on the layers. And it also helps me to now get the cuticles really, really smooth and finished out. We'll use the argan oil at the end to finish off with. In the meantime, I really want to show just how good this product is. Yeah, this stuff is better. This is the best stuff. It's really good. This is the one. We've got some in stock. We've got some in stock. We've got fresh delivery. Over there. It's alright. Okay, same again. What you start to see now is you really start to see shine. Oh, Dan Metcalf. Woo! Good to see you, brother. Excellent. Come here over the drive. Hopefully you and Sam. Hopefully you and Sam are okay. Thanks for driving the two hours that you drove from Braintree the other day for a haircut. That's impressive. Man. Let's see how the colour's changing now. It's starting to look a bit different. Yeah, you're okay, bro. Nick's been on already. I don't know if it's still on. But yeah, fair. Hope you and Sam are good. Okay, let's uh, get a brush. We'll use a flat paddle brush. We'll use an uh, alternative scat massage brush. Right, I'll start from this side first. Hand position on the dryer really important. Again, if you're holding it like this, you can tend to get a bit of wrist ache. So really hold on to it. Really no super pressure putting a nozzle on. So make sure you're on full speed ahead. The nozzle condenses all the dryer into one position, which then just makes the cuticles are smooth. And then the bit people tend to forget. Really hang on to it at the end and then just let it just drop off and then it gives it that real. This is just with a normal brush, so it just, just bevels round. Really important. Then we'll come into it with a stole stick. I could have used a round brush for this, but I really want to show how good the stole stick is in a mix. The stole stick's so good. And this will be really cool to actually showcase that. So again, it's really important to show just how these work. These products in harmony. Because again, if you're going to show something, you've got to show it right, I think. So that'll be like the final piece, as if to say. Just pick it up, with a bit of truck and trailer. The brush be in the truck, the dry be in the trailer. Just hold on to it again at the very end, it just gives you that real smooth finish. Then just get right into the roof. Nice and direct. If you've got difficult hair, really difficult, you just go a bit slower. Just a bit like when you're ironing the shirt with creases in it. You won't go on an ironing board quick with it. You just take it nice and steady. You see how this colour's really lightening up. It's really starting to go a bit lighter now. Which is interesting. From the elements of the perm and the free cool of course when we go now we can really see it's starting to shine with the light yeah, it's good when you can start to see the changes again it's just taking the time and the care just to make sure everything just fits into place nicely so I always say it's patience that makes what it is and again, this feels really, really nice. It's starting to feel like glass, which is what I want. Okay, this side now, diagonal back section. Really important. Most people go in horizontal. You may be thinking to yourself, why do it like that? Well, why indeed? Gives you more body on the sides and makes the front sit really perfect, as designed by Vidal Sassoon in the 60s. Just follows the natural shape of the school. I'll just bring it round towards the face, let it cool. 
release and that just gives you more shape. All of a sudden there's a caramel colour starting to pop out. Oh. Again this will all really show later. Yeah. So now as you can see as we come through just really hold it turn the brush slightly just gives you that real nice finish on the front a lot of people tend to forget that it's just holding the brush right till the end that just literally finishes it out of the first glance on the side wow good room. Right. Okay, same again. Always put your clips upwards, a lot easier. Again, the nozzle is a really important part of this, this. It's part of the process. Which I always think you can see the change now as you're coming through it. Get that finished. Let me show you the comparison between the two. I think it's a totally different area. The new one definitely. I feel really light as well. Once it's straightened, it'll feel really light. Almost like fresh air. That's what a lot of people say that. Okay, so. Got a bit of kink coming in. You've just got to really work with that. Again, you can just see everything line a bit more smoother. The beautiful thing about paddle brush is that it's actually classed as an alternative scalp massage brush. So these prongs that are on it are quite nice because as they hit the head, it just sort of massages the sebaceous glands which are on the top of the head. And that just sort of makes everything a little bit more easier to manage and work with. And then of course, because it's such a wide brush, you can actually grab quite a bit of hair. So it's really quite nice. We could go in with a round brush, but we're going to be using straightness, so we'll have a stole stick. Right, so now come towards the last part in this quadrant. We'll start seeing more colour appear in a minute. Just try and get under the last bit more. Using the old truck and trailer method. All the way to the end. Again, the products really help to comb through the hair as you're doing this. You'll see just how easy it is to go through the straighteners later on the style stick. Right, so we go through to the side now. I'm just going to come through this. Again, diagonal back section. Really important. Make sure you not missed anything on the final bit. Make sure the air flows in the right direction. Are you learning something? Let's send this round the pool. That's it. Hold on to it as you come through to the front, and then it just gives that a little bit of turn. Again, a little bit of kink, so just work with that. Again, when I put the style stick on, it'll be great because you can really see how this all just falls into place. Right, well, last two sections. You can see that diagonal back section, really, really important. So let's just move over by using the hand. Just send it away. Got some truck and trailer in there. Turn at the bottom. Just go along to it, and then it just gives it that. A lot of people that have full graduation don't really sort of know how to do it, so they think float on it straight, as in down straight, gives it the look. It doesn't really. 
hopefully at home you can see this shine on the top as it's all coming together now. So yeah, one of the main key ingredients is leaving conditioner on once a week to feed the hair. 10 minutes, wrap a towel around your head, then the heat processes off the scalp which processes the product. A lot of people tend to forget that. They think I'll just put conditioner on for two or three minutes and wonder why basically the hair's not conditioned. We're all guilty of it. I ask the question to a lot of guests, I say, how long do you leave the conditioner on for? Let's have the truth. You know, say, just a couple of minutes. But if you actually leave it on for 10 minutes a week, you can tell a big difference. Okay, so now we're going to go through to the next part. <clears throat> Let's just remove this to make it more comfortable for you. How's that? It's a different colour. It's reflecting light. It's great. Okay, so here we go, folks. It's time for the trick stick. Muck wild plate style stick tonight. We're going to use this. One of the best things about it. Nicky Gar knows what's coming next, and Lima Atkinson. It's the red light display. It's like being in a car, isn't it? So what does that do? Well, it's ionic, which means basically that anything that's fly away, which, which is a perfect example for you now, these ionic lights will actually smooth that out and make it look even smoth. So the idea is you're going to really see a change, and that's one of the ways I've deliberately prepared this hair now. I mean, you are seeing it literally live. If you've just joined us, this is as live as it gets. So you're actually really going to see what this stick can do now. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll just take a section. This should take about just under 10 minutes to do this. Then we're into the final part of the dry cutting relationship. Okay, so the stole stick comes on, nice and slow. You can see it smoking, it's the product. It's not burning the hair. And you can just see it as I'm elevating it slightly towards the bottom that's one stroke and you can see literally just how one stroke that does it literally how smooth that is completely different so again it, it's great just to show it the nice thing is the straightening plates don't grab the hair everything just glides through it after spending um, two days on a trade stand at the NEC with muck two years ago it was great because you could actually sort of really use it for itself for what it is and you can actually see now as we're in here you can actually sort of see what's going on with it you can literally just see just how straight that goes now just on rich literally just on the one stroke there you go and that just gives it a real nice finish okay it doesn't get any more straight than that but again if you're gonna have confidence in something some people say to me how come you use the style stick well this is it, you're sort of seeing it now. How and why I use it. And you can really sort of see that change of colour out, it's just coming through. All of a sudden we've gone from dark hair, we're now coming into, well, a lot more lighter. It just looks totally different. When Ryan sees you tonight, he'll wonder, uh, he'll say, have you got any ID? <laughs> I'll say it, wait till you see him we'll come out the front of it. It's got like real caramel in there, it looks great. <clears throat> And this is really what it's all about, showing everything, it's great. Okay, hang on to right to the last minute on the layers and everything else because you really want it to finish out nice. So we've got a lot of challenges with this hair. It tends to stick out, there's bits that, you know, the sort of uh, wanting to go different ways, you've just got to make sure that everything works. Okay, so now we're just going to come through it. It's just a diagonal back. Keep everything out of the way. It's always good if you can use your comb. Very important. Okay, subdivide because we've got a little bit of kink in it. In fact, we'll do this in three parts. Just be careful not to burn your guest's face when you're doing this. Really important. Get that kink. And again, thinking about how we did it earlier with the brush. Actually, physically turning. That's why I used the brush. I can just so the comb can actually just physically get right in there and get that turning as well which is important this is pumping out about 230 um, degrees on this at the moment 
so it's important to try and keep it off the guest face as you're doing it. So you can just see that now as it just comes through, I've just come around and I'm like, just really see the finish coming in. That's it, that's it, it's all good. I'll spin you around in a minute, you'll have to wait. Oh look, the place to come and to get it. <laughs> not tonight, though. <laughs> This is not the fashion police, we're all. <laughs> it looks smooth enough. <laughs> We've got a small. <laughs> oh no, that's it. Okay, do you think anybody will come and touch it tomorrow at work? Do you think they'll come to you and say, let's touch your hair, let's touch your hair? Maybe. Maybe, yeah, that's it. Or you're making coffee, that is, for everybody. <laughs> okay, so you can now really see what the. Um, ionic lights really do to the hair as they take away all the positive energy which is the static and turn it into negative energy so you can really sort of see now as I elevate it up like I say it's great to be able to show it because some people think it's a gimmick but you know you really are watching this live as I see it now now my Guest cameraman sees it. The model's not seen it yet. <laughs> she might not like it. <laughs> so it's changed colour. <laughs> this is like magic, isn't it? That's what I like about this job. It is though. It's like a trick, all of it. It's great. Yeah, it looks lighter when you walk out the door, you feel cool with it. Yeah, well the sun does lighten it up, but you'll see, you'll be quite surprised actually. You go copper. So this looks like a caramel sun kiss caramel colour. It's nice, really nice. It just works really, really well. Okay, so there we go. Let's just give you a little flip this way. So you can see what's going on, so the viewers can see what's going on. Right, so you can really evidently see the difference between the two sides now. Okay, so don't worry. You can sit and smile at it now. If it wasn't cut right, you'd see it now. Yeah. Let's put it that way. Obviously, I've got to go through the cleaning up process, but yeah, it's there. Right, we've got a little bit more kink through here because we've got a pre perm. It's through it, we're just sort of going through. Again, just finishes everything off. One of the pleasures of being a hairdresser is you actually get to see a nice change when you do the hair. Once we've been through and done all of this again, then we go through the finished finale look, which is just going through and making sure everything's level. Um, on the perimeter and then really it's a question of them um, just doing your finish off so we're not far from finishing now so for the children that are still up watching tonight in the United Kingdom that are at school tomorrow we'll be able to go to to bed soon after this special presentation <laughs> that's it <laughs> so I'll try and look at my friend and have a good laugh uh, I'm guessing Grace is still watching. She's still with us tonight. <laughs> Lynn Marie Atkinson. I like the photo, by the way, that you put on of your restyle the other day. That was really good. At least I don't write the um, eight commandments there. <laughs> so let's go through the next part. Again, you can really see the changes. See, I'm keeping my sections really clean as I'm doing this, just to make sure everything just sits nice. Sometimes Ryan comes, you've got to text him. Oh, he's only got to watch it, I'll see. Phone's out, phone's out. Sorry. No, it's fine, it's okay. Okay, again, now you can just see what's going on. <laughs> so, again, the beautiful thing is you can really see this finish as it's coming on. I think finish is equally as important as the actual cut itself. I know some people tend to sort of skimp on finish, but I just think if you've got the time, do it right. It makes a big difference. And again, you know, you really are seeing these more products in their entirety, seeing exactly what, what it will do and how it all comes together because that's really what it's all about. It comes together as one style wardrobe, which is really important. Again, the hand, you can use that just to calm everything down. 
great way of getting rid of um, positive energy as well. So, so diagonal back again into the sides. Lower my shoulder for you. <laughs> That's it. I need to come around this way. It's not my set. No, you're so nice. It's good. It's good. That's it. I work for you. Don't waste my. I work for you tonight. Oh. Yeah. It's my pleasure. I don't know what it that does. It means that I need to grow far. You're doing well. Don't mind. It's good. <laughs> Switch hands. You'll be alright. We're coming towards the end now. Don't mind. It's so good. Show you, uh, show your friend or play your little kiss on on the screen. Sticking it together, so you're doing well. It's good. Thank you. Say thanks to Smoth. Thanks. Come by your name. It's under a different name tonight. So a soccer DJ name. Yeah. Okay. So now we're just coming through this side. You can really see with the light. How it bounces off the hair, you can really see the colour. Which is nice. Just coming to the last few sections now. He's thinking, right. Just slide it a bit.